Let's talk about voter turnout for a moment. As of earlier this week, it was pretty low, even for a midterm primary election, which is typically lower than a general election of a presidential year. But there was a big surge in ballots yesterday, and we jumped from about 22% of ballots from registered voters returned up to about 33% for the state. And there are still ballots coming in over the next week because of the new postmark law. 33% is about typical for a primary election. In 2018, 33.9% of registered voters turned in a ballot. And nationwide, Oregon has had one of the highest voter turnouts for this primary. But it does mean that about two thirds of registered voters in Oregon uh, did not vote. What we've noticed though, is that turnout is much higher in rural counties than in urban ones. So for example, Multnomah and Washington counties, turnout was around 33 or 34%. But let's take a look farther out. The top three counties for voter turnout were Grant, Harney, and Wheeler counties. All of them were over 50%. 52% of voters in Wheeler County turned in a ballot. Way to go, you guys. That got us wondering, why is turnout so much higher in these rural counties? Yes, okay, so they have far fewer voters. Harney County only has a little over 5,000 registered voters. But more than half of them took the time to vote and either mail their ballot or to drop it off. So we asked the county clerk in Harney County, and he says people in rural counties do care a lot, and they don't feel they're being heard. Historically, Harney County's always had a high turnout, even pre-vote by mail. Um, I push voter participation each election, and I think that pays off. But I think over the last 35 years, um, there's been an incredible de-industrialization uh, de in rural Oregon. And that economic deterioration has led to resentment and even grievance style politics, I believe. Um, rural Oregon tends to be registered um, pretty Republican. And I've heard over and over this election, they want new direction. Um, I hear every election, rural voters feel unheard in Salem and in Washington, DC. And I truly believe that's the reason behind the high turnout. They typically feel unheard in Salem. And I think they see this as their way to be heard. Robinson says they use social media a lot to talk about voting because they don't have much local news media. And while there are drop boxes located throughout the county, most people put their ballots in the mail. He says that despite the idea that many conservatives don't trust mail in voting, that actually is not the case in Harney County. Folks in rural Oregon um, have elected their, their county clerk, and I think they have trust in their own elections office. And I hear that a lot. Um, you know, they say, well, we trust what you're doing and we completely understand that it's taken care of correctly here, but we don't know about what it's being done in other states or in other counties across the state. And so together, you know, the Oregon Clerk Clerks Association has tried really hard to help fight mis and disinformation. I've really worked hard um, to, to uh, show, show folks how the process works uh, when we do our public certification. Um, we had a pretty good turnout of folks here to see how that process works. And I did a a pretty lengthy demonstration of Oregon's elections process in a small county from start to finish uh, during that process. And, and it was well, very well received. And I think um, that helps. The more we can get folks to see how accurate and transparent and hard we work to make sure everyone's vote is counted accurately, um, I think that really pays off as well. That puts a lot of trust into our system. We also reached out to the clerk in Wheeler County where 52% of voters turned in a ballot. The clerk there wrote, voters in Wheeler County seem to take their right to vote very seriously. We typically have one of the highest turnouts in the state. It gives me pride to know that our citizens care.